Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on um, our preferences window. We're going to go ahead and move to the next tab, which is the operation tab. So basically, in this tab, you modify the way Pro Tools operates. Okay? And there are six or seven basic areas of this tab. First one related to transport, second one related to auto backup, user media and settings location, that's the third, fourth is the record operation, five miscellaneous operation, six video operation, and then seventh diagnostics. Okay, so let's start with the transport. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you there's plenty of things here that I try as much as I can to leave default, especially here on the transport. Why? The transport for me is extremely important because it's what lets you play back and maybe move a little bit forward or move a little bit backwards. So I don't mess with this a lot. Uh, a couple of things that I try to leave on. The first one is uh, edit insertion, follow scrub and shuttle. I like my edit insertion to follow my scrub. So I leave that on. And then play start marker follows timeline selection. I like the, to leave that on. Okay. Um, now, I also have, on my numeric keypad, I have the transport assigned um, so that I can do some transport operations from this, okay? Now, things like the custom shuttle lock speed and uh, fast forward and rewind speed, I leave that default. Um, and the other options like audio during fast or forward rewind, that's off, and the latch forward rewind, that's off, okay? Up to this point, this transport area is completely and totally default. I don't play with that. Now, here we go to the next part, the auto backup. This is extremely important. This is probably one of the most useful uh, functions in Pro Tools. And the auto backup basically stores a backup of your session automatically. And I don't see why you would want this off. I bet you want it to be on. So you want to make sure that enable session file auto backup is on. It's selected here. And then here you can say how many backups you want it to keep and uh, how often do you want the Pro, uh, the Pro 2 software to create a new backup. In my case, I have three, uh, sorry, 10. So I keep ten, the 10 most recent session backups and the program is going to back up every five minutes. So... Um, if you, let's say you're faster, like you mix really fast and you add a lot of processing and things like that, um, uh, you might want to back up every two or three minutes. So if something happens by some reason, the program closes, your computer turns off or something, uh, you don't lose a lot of progress. You know, I do 10 every five minutes and that's, that's plenty for me. That's fine. Then you have the user media and settings location. Okay. I typically leave this default. Why? Um, I do not want to be messing with the place where my project, let's say media cache is being stored or my sound libraries because I don't want um, somehow the program to get corrupted and then try to look for files that are not there. So I just leave that on. Uh, sorry, I just leave that default. Now record. Same thing as the transport. I try to leave that completely default. And uh, basically, there's like three options here. Latch, record, enable buttons. I like that to be on. So I can latch the record enables. I can do more than one. Um, and then I like to link the record and play faders. And audio track record lock. Okay, those three, I leave that on. And that's still completely default. All the other options are off. And I leave them like that because, once again, the record up, the, you know, recording in Pro Tools is one of the most important uh, features, right? So I don't want to be messing with that. I don't want anything, any of these options to be involved in somehow um, uh, interfering with my recording. So I just leave that default. Uh, a couple things here, miscellaneous. Mouse wheel scrolling snaps to track. I like that on. I use my mouse wheel a lot. And I want the scrolling, you know, to to snap to my tracks. 
You can also set a an auto fade in and out length for your clips. Um, right now it's set to zero, so I don't have that. Um, but if you want things to happen, you know, for you in advance, you might say, I don't know, maybe five or ten milliseconds. I typically don't do it because I like to create my own fades, but you're more than welcome to set that uh, to a default length. And that way, it'll you know it's it's actually very helpful when you're uh, maybe punching in and things like that. Um, then you have your video area. If you're working with video, you want to enable your GPU and prevent tearing. Uh, if you're not working with video, you can turn off the enable GPU function. And the last one is the diagnostics. You could uh, this is related to uh, your save logs. Uh, if you want to save the advanced video logging or send anonymous Pro Tools usage data to Avid to help them improve the software, you can turn those on. I leave I leave that off. I don't really use that. And actually, by default, that is off. So there you go. That's your operation tab of your preferences window. I hope this was helpful. And uh, follow us for the next tutorials. And we're going to keep working on the next tabs of the preferences window in Pro Tools. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.